Okay, so this goes for the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 as well as the Galaxy S6 and the S7. Basically, you have an issue with your touchscreen. Maybe it's oversensitive, maybe it's undersensitive, or maybe you're having what's called ghosting. Maybe apps are popping open you know, uh, without any intervention from you, or the menu button is um, uh, being pressed on automatically, or even the back button. So basically, I mean, what I mean by oversensitive, first of all, is basically as you're strolling through your phone like this, apps are popping popping open, or maybe you're browsing the internet and you know links keep opening up. Uh, basically, your phone is just oversensitive, or maybe it's undersensitive where you have to tap something like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times to finally get it to open, or maybe you know you want to swipe down your notification down here and you got to do it like 10 times to get it down. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys basically two methods what you can do before you want to bring it to the repair shop or if, you have, if your phone is under warranty to try to get it exchanged, okay? Now I'm gonna give you two methods and the thing is uh, one or the other method may work for you or the combination of both these methods may work for you as well, okay? Now this, this is gonna work for all of you but it will work for, I, I would say, maybe 60 to 70% of you guys out there, okay? So now, before I get into the method, you know, if your phone is oversensitive, uh, for example, I know my S7 was really oversensitive. Every time I, I swiped, that freaking apps would just keep popping on. And um, another way, if this method here that I'm about to show you doesn't work, what you can do is you can get a, um, like a screen protector or a case. Basically, it'll de uh, decrease the sensitivity and that'll work as well, okay? Anyway, so. For this uh, method here, for this video, basically what you wanna do is you wanna open up your dialer, your phone app here. So open that up, and then you wanna press a key combination, and it's gonna be star, pound, two, six, six, three, pound. Just like that, and this firmware, firmware version will pop up. And what we need to do here is we basically need to update the TSP TSP FW Update General. The TSP is basically the uh, touchscreen panel uh, update, okay? Now, before I, I go and tap on that, let me just go back to the dollar here. Now, if that code didn't work for you guys, I know it's gonna work if you have a carrier such as T-Mobile, AT&T. I think it'll work for Verizon. Um, I had a phone before where uh, the code didn't work and the other code that I had to use for the other phone, and I don't remember if the, that phone had a carrier um, I mean, I think it might have been even like an international phone or, or whatnot. Anyways, uh, his code was basically, um, it, was, it was similar, but it was star, pound, star, pound, two, six, six, three, and then pound, and then I went into that page. Okay, so if none of these codes work, then go ahead and, um, you know, just Google it. Uh, go ahead and Google it and look for your model number or your carrier and try to look for the um, the TS, uh, what is it, um, the TSP update, okay? So let me go ahead and go back to this code now. So it's star, pound, two, six, six, three, and then pound, and then here we go. And what you wanna do is simply click on the TSP FW update, okay? Again, that's touchscreen panel, TSP. So I'm gonna tap on that. Now it's updating now, warning, do not turn off. Now let me wait till it's complete and hopefully it says pass on there, okay? Give this a second. Okay, perfect. Update complete, pass. Now from here, the next thing you wanna do is you want to go into your settings. And then from here, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down and you wanna look for language and input. Tap on language and input. And then at the very bottom here, it says pointer speed, okay? Tap on that and make sure that this is in the middle, okay? If it's not, then you wanna put it in the middle or anywhere closer on the middle and then click on okay. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and give your phone a test run and hopefully the touchscreen issue is the way it's supposed to be. Now, if you guys have any questions or anything, comment below. If this helped you out, you guys uh, subscribe, share, like, that'll be awesome. Thanks guys, bye.